We're special. We're powerful. We can change everything. I'm Charlie Manson. With Throwback Thursdays and I Miss Mad Men as a few examples, there are many easy jokes to make at the expense of NBC's new 60-set series, Aquarius, which debuts on May 28th. And while the first couple of episodes are far too ponderous in their endless setup and the looming murderous menace of Charles Manson, this John McNamara-created series is actually a damn fine cop drama underneath all the beads and paisley. Using the era mainly as a well-mined backdrop, it's all sex, drugs, and a lot of 60s-centric rock and roll from the get-go, with the Manson family making its moves on the vulnerable in the City of Angels and riots on the Sunset Strip in an explosive 1967. Yet, even with Vietnam always in the background and the Black Panthers on the political front lines, Aquarius is also something you'll be able to ease into quite comfortably once you get a few shows in with David Duchovny as Sam Hodiak, a grizzled LAPD detective at a loss in the changing times, but willing to roll with them. You, dirtbag, have the right to rights you don't deserve or I'll kick your teeth in. How's that? Now, I must admit, it made me uneasy seeing Manson as a savage but slinky would-be rock star in a town, not unlike the LA of today, where almost everyone has a hustle or wants to be a somebody. In a TV age of anti-heroes, this real-life scumbag doesn't deserve to be seen as anything but the monster he is. And revealing that sometimes requires letting viewers in on his appeal, which Aquarius manages to carefully tightrope walk. However, even with Game of Throners' Gavin Anthony as Manson himself, and former Friday Night Lighter Gray Damon as the hippie undercover cop, this is Duchovny's show. His World War II vet Break All the Rules cop is an almost perfect sunbleached meld of his ancient Mulder from the X-Files and the angst-ridden hedonist writer Hank Moody that he played on Showtime's Californication for several seasons. The actor does this shtick so well now, you're more than willing to forgive the lapses that Aquarius occasionally makes, ones that make it feel more soft-poached and hard-boiled with one-liners that are way too 2015, or at least 1996, and not at all 1967. Ow, the love generation plays rough. The fact is, a good procedural is TV timeless, and that's what Aquarius is at its core. So, to paraphrase a popular expression of the summer of love, tune in, turn Aquarius on, and go with it. It's a very recognizable ride. I'm Dominic Patton for Deadline Hollywood.